dear ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and every member of the Chacha Nation. Welcome to the first episode of the second season of the Chacha Let's Talk Music series on the Chacha Music Review Podcast, which is now being brought to you by Absolute Art Media in collaboration with the Ape King Nation and One Star Communication. My name is Thurman Afis Donova, aka your musical plug, creator of the Energy Force. This episode is dedicated to my late dad, Alaji Abdul Fatai Aroshola Orintilo, who died on the 19th of January 2021. May his soul continue to rest in peace. Today, we'll be talking about the influences that our parents had on us musically growing up. I mean, if you are in a Nigerian house and you grew up with a Nigerian parent, definitely there are some certain kind of songs you could not listen to at the same kind of song you were allowed to listen to and today as usual i'm not going to be alone i have a beautiful guest in the house and i'm going to allow my guest to introduce herself good day ladies and gentlemen i am timmy gold a freelancer and also a podcaster uh timmy gold welcome to the podcast it's nice having Thank you, you here Thank uh you. so today we'll be talking about um you know those um how our parents influenced us growing up musically okay. i mean talking about being a nigerian child and a nigerian parent you know that in every nigerian household your parents always have a say on the kind of music you should listen to growing up and growing up eventually that kind of affect the kind of music we listen to be it gospel be it um circular music or be it just any kind of music so um for you in particular was there any kind of music that because of the influence your parents had on you musically now growing up that you were able to listen to and you still listen to up to date or you don't listen to anymore well um i actually came from a family that um we love music a lot so i don't always have like they don't have a restriction to the kind of music we listen to and do we listen to juju music we listen to um hip-hop music we don't really listen to rap music and till date i don't listen to rap music really Mm-mm. i don't listen to <laughs> rap music i just like maybe maybe just, maybe, maybe if i just want to um just to catch some listening then i could listen to emma you know emma is really good so but i don't have this type of rap thing in me like listen to rap music now but when it comes to r&b when it comes to this afrobeat and afrobeat too also has restriction you know there are some that they uses different kind of bad languages uh, so we were not always they don't play that kind of song yeah i mean so growing up growing up growing up in in nigerian house like let me use my dad and hi for example okay now if not for my dad mm. i won't be I, i'm not sure i'll listening to afrobeat mm. my dad was a big fan of fella growing up okay. so whenever we are always driving around in his car fella is always going to come up okay. and he's also a big fan of you know juju and um apala music i could yeah. remember Aruna Shala, but yeah. there was this popular Aruna Shala song then that my dad used to listen to in his car all in his and wow. in my mind i was like what's this because me i grew up listening to hip-hop yeah. hip-hop has always been my thing but listening mm. to those kind of like what's this man always and there's no how whenever you're in the car with him yeah he's always going to play that song so even because of my dad songs like like i said fella mm. you know arno shola um shino peters mm. even barista mm. you know even this song i think obey obey used to be my dad's favorite i okay. can't forget my dad made me love um this obey song uh, this um uh, it's on baba Khan. That's okay. not for my dad. I don't mm. think I will have been able to know mm. that song. And you know, then like you rightly said about you know parents censoring the kind of song you should listen to. Mm. They mm. want to listen to song that had vocal language and bad words and yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. I think back then also the songs my parents were listening to were those kind of songs that you have to think and you have to pick up you know one or two messages from those songs and. I feel in a way that kind of helped me you know to elaborate my what is call it my um, musical score because left for me i'll have just done strictly hip hop but because of my dad i was able to do afrobeat i was able to do juju i was able to do aquala a little bit of you know smooth jazz because at times my dad would just bring out some of this classic rock music and i'm like <laughs> where is this coming from <laughs> <laughs> uh-uh see as yanni just a sweet for my ear 
the Cha Cha Let's Talk music series with Afisto Nova. A good conversation with the boss Bree. Definitely, there has to be some kind of music that they will never allow you to listen to. Well, 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 well. They never. Well, during those days, they don't play songs that ask these vulgar languages. Okay. We were talking about the female sexuality, the boy sexuality. No, they don't play this kind of music. Until date, I don't listen to this type of music. You can barely see me sit down, pick up a Nagamali song, and I would just say I want to listen to it. I know it's it's funny when you mentioned it because I remember um there was a time I was singing um okay I think I was listening to a song and I was singing out aloud and my dad was like who oh, you know, say it's a man boy you know like, <laughs> let me say it in English my dad was like you are just listening to all this you know foul music you are not listening to a song that has content and all that yeah. and I looked at him I said come dad are you trying to tell me in your own days you didn't have songs like that that speaks about I mean you have um. I don't know Shola that sang uh, in nothing wrong. F A C T B K B B K M U J O in no wrong, in no wrong. O K O M O T I O T O W O B R E U in no wrong. E S I D I M U K E E M A W A K O S O V I E E M A W A K O S I B B B E I D I K E M I A J O L O O L O M I L O M I D A K U N J O O S M O M I D A K U N D A K U N B B I M I K O O D E T I B A T A K B A T A. Or even this um Colentin song that said um C C T O N L O W E N I W A L A M B A R I K O W E N Y O. No, 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 I want to initiate me. I mean, those songs were in their own way mm. talking about, you know, a male and a female sexuality in their own coded way. But it yeah. was it was coded. Not as much as Not our own as generation. As the now. Our say. own generation, <laughs> they will break everything down. In our generation, they will break everything down for you that even a little baby. Like you won't even feel comfortable for us, those small small children to listen to those type of songs. I will see some little kids and you know, they will be the way they will be singing these lyrics and I will just be like, where did they get these lyrics from? But it is just based on the kind of environment they found themselves and the kind of look at the impacts they made, the impacts my parents made on the kind of music I listen to. It is what actually shaped me to the kind of music I listen to now. But if they were listening to the likes of um if they were okay, do, do, during those days they listen to this. Um, we listen to this song, this Lezu song, Kerewa. Okay, Kerewa, yeah. But you cannot say Kerewa. <laughs> <laughs> you, can you, know, you can only vibe to the song, but if you, if you, if you say Kerewa, they will be like, where did you hear that one from? <laughs> so, Have you ever been in a situation whereby you are listening to a song with earpiece mm. and you are not conscious of your environment? Maybe your dad or your mom is there. And you just begin to sing out loud and you just probably hear it tough on the back of your head or they look at you like what are you singing because i think i remember one time i was singing i was singing one fella song yeah okay. and the fella song was like then key my mama then key my oh, mama oh god oh god oh god oh god <laughs> this there is this kind of songs i really can't and my mom was, my mama was like who uh-huh. kill me who kill me <laughs> there's this kind of song yeah I really can't. I'm trying to remember that song because that song, eh, it was not even my mom that punished me for it. it was the people around me that list that had me singing that song that punished me for it, like serious punishment. Ah, oh my goodness! This the song. The song was like, um, uh, my my mommy has died. If she like, my mommy would die if she did not give birth to me. I don't know. I really can't remember, remember that lyrics, song. Yeah. I really can't remember that song. But I knew that I received punishment for that. So, like, <laughs> there was just the people around. Before they even went ahead to tell her, they already punished me. Is there any, okay, let me put that, is there any gen of music that you picked up from your parents that you still listening to right about now? Yes, I would say RB, I would say Afrobeat. When you say R&B, it's funny because it makes me feel like your parents are very, very romantic set of couples. Because I mean, in the Nigerian, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm serious. Because in the Nigerian setting, it's very rare for you to go to a Nigerian household and you say you see their parents listening to R&B. Oh, they listen from, to they they listen they are, to R&B. If they are, if they are Yorubas, you know it's either Fuji or Akpala. I know that's if they are Igbo, the it is high life and their culture. If it is outside, it is their no. So why you don't talk about? R&B, I feel like 
uh, I have friends from you know the UK or from the US, you know, because no, 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 no. Because most most of the songs they most of the songs they used to play say it's usually this um English language music, not this our Yoruba or Igbo like okay. I don't know if you understand yeah, what yeah, I'm I'm saying. Saying. Like, saying. imagine that to get dicks get then it was usually this six yeah that was what we buy that, yeah. buying so those uh-huh. <laughs> so those, those are the things they used to bring home and the likes of when these guys released an album um olufumi album stop loss the bunch yeah. um p square because because like if, even even the background of my family like there's none of them that they won't have a choice between p square the bunch and um two face wow olufumi wow. um stop loss stop because loss. Those, those are the kind of people they used to buy their albums a lot then they are always keeping it updated and stuff like that so even to now so i barely listen to maybe all this kind of traditional music, music. i barely listen to them oh. but then i still listen to nigerian music i still listen to african music i'm even now trying to go more deep into african music because of their languages like um maybe other languages like um swahili, swahili french, french and co so um you you spoke about wanting to listen to more of african music eh? mm, yeah. let me just advertise myself on my podcast okay <laughs> <laughs> on the chacha music review podcast okay. what i basically do is to make sure that people listen to african music because i talk about you know songs from top african artists so trust me if you are looking for that african song you want to listen to just go listen to Chacha Music Review Podcast. You get those African, those songs, African songs very, very much there. Wow. Now, uh, before I allow you go, I mean, let me just let's just round up the conversation. Let's just okay. talk about one, you know, musical moment you had with your parents, whether your dad or your mom. Just that musical moment that you always remember in your head. If there's any, you know, one. Because for me, I think the musical moment that I had with my dad was um, when I was in Abuja with my dad, and um, he was playing. Fela. That was, I think that was the first time my dad and I actually connected on a music level. Mm. Like it was very, very, that I, I can never forget. That was a very deep connection for me. My dad had just bought his car around that period and we're just one of those days like daddy just wanted to take us out. So he took me out, went to go and buy suya and ice cream and in the car, Fela came up playing. I can't forget that Fela song. It was, um, Zombie, oh, zombie, okay. zombie, oh, zombie, zombie, oh. So the song was coming up, you know, I was vibing to it, I was, you know, trying to zombie. And my dad started giving me the history of the song, sure. you know, of how Fela recorded the song, why Fela recorded the song. And I won't lie to you, I think that was probably one of the longest conversations my dad and I have had, and we didn't have any fight. Wow. <laughs> because typically, me and my dad, we don't have conversation more than 10, 15 minutes, and we begin to fight. fight. But for okay. that, for throughout that conversation mm. about that song, it was a very, very lovely conversation. And for me, every time I remember that, and I think that was what kept me into Afrobeat for life. That conversation right there with that song playing with my dad, and that was just, and that song, Zombie, still remains one of my best song of fella ever because of that connection so was there any type of that incident you had with your parent that you look back and feel like man i remember when this song was playing my dad or my mom you know yes yes there was there is actually gospel music um we have the this um this Barbara song. Mm, Barbara, it's so resting. Oh, I'm trying to remember that song. We had this Barbara song. I don't even know that melody. Yeah, I know that melody. Yeah, also. you know that guy too was yeah, trending yeah, during yeah. those days. That melody. Ah, I really can't remember those songs. But you know those kind of songs. This um, there's this in Kaifele songs too. This album, maybe next level or something. So each time I listen to any single from that album, I'll just, I'll just. Like my, I would just picture what I was doing with my family during that, that time. time. Do you understand? Yeah. So it's just um, it's just like there's just this kind of connection with it that each time I remember something, each time I remember, each time I maybe I was just passing by and I, I and I hear the music, immediately my head would just be like, okay, this is the moment. The days of um, I said Barbara, I said Dari Melody, yeah. you know, those gospel music. music, yeah. So that's just it, all right. So, um, finally, finally, you've mentioned that you are a podcaster, you are a freelance writer. Yeah. Just tell the people that are listening a little bit about your podcast. Well, about my podcast, we talk about 
relatable contents. It could be religious, it could be relationship life, it could be self improvement, anything that anything that could be music. It's no, 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 no music. <laughs> <laughs> Let me leave music for you. Let me leave music for you. <laughs> but just, but my contents are just based on anything relatable. All right. And so what's, sure, the, what's the name of the podcast? The Chats Lounge. Podcast. The Chats Lounge. Oh, no wonder you're chatty. <laughs> <laughs> that is just me. All right. So um, how can they, you know, follow you on social media to connect with you and all that? Okay, on Instagram and, and on Twitter, I am. At I am Timmy Gold. Okay, that's my that username. That's on Twitter and on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Uh, all right, no problem. Thank you very much, Timmy, for doing this. I really, really. Thank you for bringing me to your show. I, I hope we can it. get to do this more. And more of course often. we can. Of course we can. Thank you, and continue to listen to the Chacha podcast. Yes, so my people, when I don't hear so make when I listen to it, listen to the Chacha Music Review Podcast. Thank you very much for listening. Like I said, this episode is strictly dedicated to my dad. May he so continue to rest in peace. Thank you very much for making me have deeper connection to music. So like come away with another episode of the Chacha Let's Talk Music series on the Chacha Music Review Podcast. My name still remain a peace turnover, aka your musical plug, creator of the energy force.